Oh good, we've gone live. I've been sitting here trying to get my model to stop blinking, and I, and I mean the blinking green, not just blinking. No, tracking's off. Cause oh. I found out it has nothing to do with my camera. It has everything to do with VTube Studio just losing connection over and over and over and over and over and over. So I could turn on tracking, but at this point, what does it matter? Oh, I don't know what to do. There's too much background stuff going on right now to really sit down and figure anything out. I'm thinking of taking a break. That could turn into a permanent one, but I just enjoy streaming. Uh... All right, he wants to speak with my general. Just can't do that. Get out of here. Okay, sorry. At your service, you grace. You have a problem with the monster. Ha! So you do uh, have your own monster, your grace. The color is just the name. Hmm. It's a small creature. Imagine a pig but hairy with long claws and horns. They can be dangerous, but for me it will be a piece of cake. I expect my return shortly. That will be all for now. As you please, your grace. I don't remember how I did his voice, unfortunately. Grace, normally I wouldn't bother you, but I have no other choice. A merchant delivering goods from one place to the other. I sell trinkets of all sorts. What do you sell? Um, paintings, vintage scrolls, historic relics. I even once had the wooden leg of Lord the Spindle Shanks. Yeah. Went for a crazy 200 pieces of gold. But none of that matters now, as I was robbed on my way back to my hometown, Bravesk. And if I'm not mistaken, now you need funds to carry on with your journey. Correct! You really know you're stuffed, Your Grace. I would need 23 gold to get back on my feet. I'm a businessman, so I know how to invest this money. I'll make a profit in no time. I will repay you as soon as I can, with interest, of course. Let's find someone else to help you. What? Why not help a truly honest man? <laughs> Lou, the Spingle Shanks. That's a good one. Is that another pet of yours you got there, Pumpkin? What is it this time? A mouse? It's a tiny mouse. Too easy to set a trap for her. She'd be caught straight away. But this is just some silly toy. Recruiting agents is far more difficult than you would imagine. Why the agents? What are you planning to use them for, Pumpkin? It's to save Lursulia and Dusty from the evil prince. When my agents are ready, we will take Lursulia back home. My agents will be best friends with Dusty. Maybe I will let you use them one day, too, if you're good. Pumpkin? Ivo is not evil. Besides, he's no prince. He's a king now. Tana is really far away, too. Well, those seem like good points, but you do your job, I do mine. Let's see that toy. It's quite unusual, isn't it? It doesn't look like it came from our country. Where did you get it from? Maya gave it to me. It brings luck, she says. I see. Go on for now, Stani. See if you can find more agents. Yes, Father. Your Grace. Need, that, need to see that friend of Vesalia. Snokes is off doing his thing. Can't talk to you. Can't do anything with you. Should invite Lodge. Uh, I need gold. Thank you for letting me visit you, Grace. Yes, father? Explain this, Asalia. It's a toy? Yes, Sadani got this toy from Maya. I've seen this toy before. Maya, you are not from Baravia, where are you? My family, we travel a lot. I was passing by, but I heard all the racket here. Is everything alright, darling? 
Look at this toy, Aurelia. I recognize this. Of course you do. I saw one just like it when we were robbed by Baron 13 years ago. Where did you get this toy from, Maya? Uh, uh, my parents travel a lot. We're traveling merchants. They must have bought it somewhere. Your accent, this toy, staying in Davern for a while. You're from Rodovia. Tell me you didn't know about this, Cecilia. Father, please, no. Don't do anything to her. It's all my fault. I asked her to visit us. We're preparing for battle. We're planning to repel an attack. But Rodovians are already in my castle. I... I... Look what you did to your father. Eric! My head. Oh, you're up. Eric, that's twice now. Uh, Sully's friend is a Rodovian. Preparing for war against them, and yet they're already here. Yes, I had a chat with them already. Sully won't be seeing her friend anymore. I decided not to kill her, but I banished her from the castle. She's just a girl. Perhaps, but what kind of message does it send? Our daughter playing with the enemy in our castle? You didn't consider letting her stay, did you? As I said, Maya's just a girl. Perhaps she's not even aware of the war. What if she's a spy? How else would they know Lorsulia married Ivo? It doesn't matter anymore, does it? She's gone. Hmm? You collapsing? Two of us not being able to conceive an heir? Break your promise and you shall be punished. Kingdom will be fertile, but you won't see a successor amongst your offspring. Isn't that how it went? When I promised my firstborn daughter to Bayron, I didn't do it because I was afraid of the witch. I did it to protect us. At the time, I thought Baron was a fool for agreeing to this. Surely a bandit wouldn't be able to travel such a distance, enter the throne room, and dare to ask a king for his daughter. And yet, here we are. I'm telling you, it's the witch. How else could he have become a king? How else could they threaten more? How else that you couldn't have a son? You might be right. I will look into the curse, darling. I'll see if we can do it right away. At least I can help take some of the burden from your shoulders. Thank you. Feel better now. It's time to get up. I guess I better see Asalia. Uh, while I'm thinking. Yes, father? I'm sorry, father. I didn't want to hurt you. I'm fine. I'm uh, just not that young anymore. Doctors say tense situations can have this kind of effect. I didn't want to accept to upset you, Father. But why the war, Father? Isn't life difficult enough as it is? Why make things harder for one another? I know that Maya is from Dovia. When she told me, my heart froze up. I knew it meant trouble. But I got to know her. They're not bad. They're just like us. Not barbarians, as Mother likes to call them. They attacked our villages. Of course they're bandits, thieves. It doesn't mean they are all like this. Your king, father. Tell me, did you never have to punish a thief for a bandit who was from Davern? Well... Just because one person did bad things, does it mean we're all bad? I just don't understand why we have to fight. They threaten us. They want to take over our castle. What if you just got it all wrong? We can't risk it, Asalia. It's all very complicated. That's a great shame, father. But who knows? Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Eight weeks. Eight weeks. And then it begins. What's up, Audrey? Your Grace. 
We will have the royal trial when Ivo arrives, right before the battle. This way he can attend the trial himself. I hope we are going to be ready by then. We still have some time to prepare, so make sure we do our best to find the perpetrator. Remember that our agents can be of use to investigate the items we found. I know, Audrey. Everything will be fine. Just need a hunter. Your Grace. A local baker was missing his flower deliveries. Search ran turned out the horses and cart got stuck in the mud on the way over. We helped them, and the baker gave us a basket of fresh, crusty bread rolls. Wonderful. Your Grace. A small family living on the edge of the village has recently lost their child to a fever. Little I could have done, but I helped them bury the poor knight. We pray for his soul, and I bless the spirit on your behalf. The parents were grateful for help from the king's men. Jonas, that buffoon with the stupid red gloves. Let me some gold and I will pay you back in a week, he said. I will break his legs if I see him. Your grace, I lent this fellow 28 gold. He said he would pay me back with interest. I know the type. Now here he's off to Cal Calidor, the other end of the world, probably enjoying hot sunshine and Calidy's brothels. Meanwhile, I'm stuck here in this rat hole with no wages to pay my men. I've got until this evening to pay them, otherwise they'll leave. Where the hell will I find a new crew then? I need this money for only two weeks. Should be able to make it up to you after that. Let's see, one gold. Yeah. I don't think I can help. Besides, if I lend you the money, I'll probably end up the same way you, ha you have. Hope you find this fellow. In that case, I'm sorry to bother you, Your Grace. I guess not everyone is as naive as I was. Gods. Jonas made a real fool out of me. I want it to help you. Your Grace, I bring you news. Seems to be some weird anomaly in the woods up in the north. Magic, perhaps. Colorful lights out of nowhere in the middle of the night. It sounds so frightening. Do you know anything more about it? I visit Oroboka. Oboroka. The village next to the woods. The morning after one of these disturbances. They said that Lord Jovan's children went missing that night. I tell you, magic is involved. Might be dangerous, so stay far from it. I'll send my witch as soon as possible. Yes, that's very thoughtful of you, Your Grace. I'm selling packs of supplies, Your Grace. Let me help you with the struggle. I have the best prices in all Davern. Only 28 gold for 22 supplies. What do you think? That'll be all. Thank you. Should be back in Davern in a few weeks' time, Your Grace. Until then. Alright, Stan. Let's send you somewhere. Let's send you to Vorto. Go forth, Stan. Go forth and conquer. Well, no one wants me today. Could still invite a Well, that's fair. I could. I shall invite Gregor. Money, which is nice. If I ever catch this Jonas fellow, he will be spending his time in my prison. Your Grace, I've encountered a group of children in the forest. They were looking for the for fern flower. Seems like they didn't know they wouldn't find a thing this time of year. Luckily, nothing bad happened to them, so I took them to their parents, and they thanked me with what they could. Some supplies and the words of gratitude. I'll take it. Your Grace. Took down the stork painting just like you asked. Oh, that is amazing. Thank you very much. It'll look wonderful with the rest of my collection. <laughs> so is our deal done? Is that all? Of course. Did you think I'd keep my word? You can count on my army to stand by you in battle. I'm sure you'll win anyway. If you have any other paintings, I'll gladly buy them. Let's see what else I can find. If 
I need money. I can destroy our culture. Your grace! There's no trace of the Lakaj in the forests. So I thought. As clever as I am, I know where to look for their lairs and old tree trunks. Here, take this bloody horn as proof of my courageous deed. Ha! You couldn't have defeated a beast as there was no monster in the forest. You fell for our ruse. All your tales are lies, just like this one. What? Me? A liar? No way, I brought the proof, didn't I, Your Grace? Sword doesn't exactly strike me as coming from a monster. What else is Your Grace? The cause is just like any other animal. It has horns, it bleeds. Surely you weren't expecting the horn to glow. The dragon tail isn't exactly original, is it? Sir Friedrich says you retell the story, just changing a few details each time. Very well. The cat is out of the bag. At least I don't have to put on the show anymore. It can be very tiring at times, if I'm perfectly honest. People want to see this amazing knight, this dragon slayer. So I show them what they want to see. The Kaj and the proof, a stag. At least my stories don't hurt anyone, and I don't have a drinking problem. If you have something to say, say it to my face. I hear what the wind is spreading. Problems with rum. Wife walking around with a black eye. You don't believe him, do you, Your Grace? He's a liar. He's making all this up. He used to be recognized around the courtyards, but the memory is fading. That's it. Draw your sword. Let's see if you're more than just a trickster. Your current state, I didn't expect much more. You're lucky I don't feel like fighting right now. Your Grace, of course, it's just a hoax, but it doesn't matter. Message is what's important. The story war warms the people's hearts. It gives hope for a better tomorrow. People always think that they see basilisks, collisions, strigas, while it's usually a fox, stray dog, or a caddy. If I bring them a boar skin or a deer horn, tell them it was a monster, they sleep better at night. They can get back to work, feeling safe. And if I make extra gold on the side, so what? Aren't we all frauds? Kings, for example. You'd always come to see the king because he knows everything. They expect you to give wise advice. They will put the greatest trust in your words. They ask yourself, do you always know what to do? Yes, you're right. Not even scholars always know what they're doing. Correct! There's only so much we can learn from manuscripts. The rest is just guessing. Your Grace, we surely can't allow him to let him spread more lies. I won't allow this. If you let Nuxi join under your banner, then I won't stand by your side. Well, I won't join if he joins. With his intemperance, I won't stand next to him during battle. In all the turmoil, he could stab me and no one would even know. Jovan, a good duck guy, trains with me. I'll make sure to send my recommendation. Don't forget that. Sir Friedrich, you have one more battle ahead of you. I knew I could trust your judgment, Your Grace. Ha! <laughs> it's time for those with real experience to take the lead, folks. Shame, Your Grace. Nonetheless, I wish you the very best in your battle. Oh, will someone clean up this mess? Not necessarily who I would prefer to side with, I suppose, but... But... Given the choice of... Stani, what on earth is that fox doing in the throne room? It's my new agent! Yes, sir. Back with the pets, are we? Well, you can't exactly send toys on a mission. They don't understand anything, no matter how much you explain. Besides, this one was hard to recruit. It took time. Is keeping a fox around a good idea, Audrey? Uh, of course it is. Who said that? Was it Sidani? Because it didn't show her usual text color, did it? Whatever. You shouldn't cause too much trouble, Your Grace. Yes, sir, can stay. Yes! Yes, sir, will soon be known everywhere. First in Davern for his noble deeds, then in Atana once we take the Zulian Dusky back. Perhaps he could compete with the Dragon Slayer Noxy one day. Uh oh. Once he's past initiation, he will be sent for quests. Sure. Your Grace, your general stayed up all night in our village, and this scared the witch. But Babushka is back again. Her men on horses, they came. 
They took over three villages, your grace. They're forcing everybody to feed enormous amounts of food to their children. They're scared she's coming for them, your grace. She wants to eat them. You must do something. And they're right now. Please send your men. They're in three villages. The red horse is in Oborka. Black horse is in Jablonka. And the white horse is in Belka. Okay. How are you feeling, darling? I'm worried about you. You faint it twice now. What if it gets worse? Who... We will take over the throne. I think we need to make a bigger effort, Derwin. Perhaps Audrey's right. We need to try harder. I feel like I'm failing my duty as a queen. At this time, in this age, a king should have a son. You do not need to feel guilty. Fates clearly have other plans for us. We have three beautiful, healthy daughters. It's not your fault we don't have a successor. Thank you, darling. Perhaps, perhaps you can meet me later tonight once everyone's gone. I have some ideas how to make things more interesting. Maybe it will help. I think Aurelia worries too much about everything. I should do something to make her feel better. Maybe some sort of small gift to remind her I love her, no matter what. Good luck, Stan. Who do I invite? Oh, Violet wants to see me. Oosh. Are there flowers in the garden, perhaps? I highly doubt it. I don't know what to give her. Stop it. Nothing's going to work from this side. Oops. Oh, there you go. It's not that easy. Hmm. Ah, it's all yes, but something in my bedding. I'm in sleep now, everything is itchy. Just some nettle powder. It will pass in a bit. Where are you getting these ideas from, Asalia? I can't talk to Maya anymore, so I need to find other ways to stay entertained. This isn't that isn't fair on your sister. Help her get rid of this and be gone. We will talk about this, Asalia. And that's why there isn't an heir to the throne. Maybe we can try another time. Perhaps we can still try tonight. Ah, uh, the joys of family. So family. As a fortune teller, bro. Oh, a few things here and there. Jando. Your Grace, I don't know what's going on, but when I arrived to Jablanca, it was shrouded with black storm clouds. Thunder and winds were very strong. Strange, because there isn't a drop of rain anywhere else. I dealt with the man on the black horse. He was acting very oddly. He was shouting words in some foreign language. That does not surprise me at all, considering all the other things I've heard from the peasants. Your Grace, it was an ambush. Lights in the woods, magic anomaly. 
That was nothing but a lure. They thought they could surprise me, but I was alert. I saw their footprints in the woods before I got to them. Peasants with swords and spears were waiting for me. I knew better than to engage them directly and decided to turn back instead. Oh, and let me assure you, there was no magic involved, Your Grace. Just men, armed and ready to kill. Someone is trying to weaken our forces. We need to be more careful next time, Your Grace. Men did seem quite suspicious. I should have known. You have Grace. I have found items. That, uh, I'm just going to show you all of them and then tell you to leave. That'll be all for now. Because I already got the stuff explained, so... Your Grace, Jonas Pierkin here. A traveling merchant. I have a new collectible item for you. A set of cards. But before you send me away, let me show you. You see, every card is depicted with an illustration of beautiful, exotic women. I understand that the Queen may not approve of them, but she doesn't have to know. Only 12 gold. I recognize your name. Jonas? Yes, at your service. Why do you ask? I recognize those gloves. You're going to my dungeons. I think I know someone who wants to talk to you. B this is a misunderstanding. My name is uh, Jotun. Uh, yes, Jotun, not Jonas. We should probably let Lady Masha. In. We should probably invite Lady Masha and tell her we found her lost friend. We have nowhere else to seek help from, Your Grace. Bandits rule over our village. They said they would slit our throats if we came to you. But we can't let them eat our food, drink our wine, and use our women anymore. Well equipped, and us farmers don't know how to fight. We don't stand a chance. Please send your best general before it's too late. Get right by coming to me. The general will head your way immediately. These scum will pay for what they've done. Get my word. Thank you, Your Grace. We knew we could count on you. Better go back home quick. Barricade the doors and wait for everything to end. Greetings, my Grace. May I come closer? Yes, hmm, I see, I see. You have a very interesting warrior. Let me read your future. You can see it's going to be very interesting, yes. I see. Do you not believe in fortune, my grace? I've been reading to many kings, yes. And usually I am correct. Just between you and I. I I promise you I tell you things about you, and they will be true. And then you will pay. Otherwise, you don't have to, yes. I really would rather not know my future. Well, that is absolutely fine, my grace. I wish you all the best. Goodbye. Don't want to know my future, please. Well, let's see. To the dungeons. Cannot. Your Grace! You made a mistake. I've done nothing wrong. You've stolen gold from Lady Masha. This is unacceptable. Unaccept she will decide what to do with you. Better not see you selling in Davern again. But, but Your Grace! I really didn't mean anything bad. Please forgive me. You have everything you need? Yes, some sturdy walls, steel bars, personal guard. Oh wait, there's nowhere to run. Yep, yeah, too bad. Yes, father. What you did to Sidani the other night. I know, next time I promise I will use a gentler solution than metal powder. As I just miss seeing Maya. She always came up with the best things to do. You know she shouldn't be here. I know, but I just miss her. Why don't you play with someone from the castle? They're all boring. They just want to talk about dance lessons or the correct way to behave at the table or how cutlery, cutlery should be placed. It's awful. You proved you're resourceful. I'm sure you can come up with something interesting to do. I know. I'm sorry. Maybe I can bully the servants a bit. As?
I did send for Masha, right? I just had the thought, did I actually remember to do that, or did I send for someone else? I, okay, good. Your Grace, I'm back from Belka. I must say something very strange is happening. It, it was covered in snow when I arrived. But when I dealt with the man on the white horse, all the frost just melted. I'm not sure what that was about, but it seems like whatever I did helped. Thank you. Hopefully this won't happen again. You called for me. Guess who's waiting for you in my dungeon? Oh, you got that little weasel, didn't you? Here's some gold, extra gold for your trouble. Thank you, Your Grace. Your Grace, Sir Friedrich is dead. Lord Jovan is responsible for ending his life. I don't regret this decision. Not one bit. What made you stoop for this? He had it coming. Friedrich was an abusive scumbag. Lana, his wife, had endured a lot. Proving Noxi a liar strengthened Friedrich's ego. Happy that he put Noxi in his place, he started celebrating. Drank to his heart's content. He felt invincible, wanted to show Lana, his wife, that he was a real man. I thought you respected Sir Friedrich. He didn't want to join my banner unless he did. He trained me. Sometimes he would be completely drunk and I saw what he was like to Lana. A veteran now, a faded star, but once a real legend. I couldn't bear to watch him abuse her, but he was of higher rank. I wanted him to join you first, as I didn't want to do anything that would upset him. I didn't want Lana to suffer for my decision in case he didn't agree with it. I didn't realize that something else would set him off anyway. He always got, got abusive when he drank. Everyone knew about it. The guards, peasants, noble knights. Right. Friedrich would beat Mon up and wouldn't let her out. No one lifted a finger to help. Everyone was too scared to do anything. I couldn't watch. Go ahead, kill me if you must. But you know Friedrich deserved this, I agree. If you spare me, I will join your armies. I will aid you with my main force of 120 men. I will also offer you my pikemen to join the battle. They can deal with any cavalry the Rodovians may come with. I will still give you five gold. Sad day for the knighthood, but I understand why you did this, Jova. Your deeds are forgiven, and you shall serve Davern in this upcoming battle. I suggest you stay out of sight for a while, just in case. Thank you, Your Grace. I'll, I'll invite you over to see if you're willing to speak with me. I doubt you are. Grace, a strong gale has descended on our village. There are no casualties yet, but the gale keeps coming and getting stronger. Our homes have suffered so much damage already. I ran to you as quickly as I could. Can we count on your help? Perhaps the witch can help you protect your homes. I'll send her over right away. Oh, wow, you can do that? I certainly hope so. Thank you, Your Grace. Your Grace, Your Grace, they're after me. Please help. I have a little bakery on the market. Uh, I make cakes and the like. Pretty good ones, too. I also run a little additional business on the side. Folks call it Oracle Dust. It can help you see the future, they say. Everything was going well until local crooks came along and uh, started emitting more and more dust. They threatened me when I refused. They told me they would take my little girl if I didn't bring them more. I don't know what to do about them, Your Grace. I have no gold to buy more dust, nor I want to have anything to do with it anymore. All I wanted was to make some extra coin. I'll give you some gold. Give them the gold and tell them you have no more dust. Hopefully they can find a different supplier. I hope they don't come back again. My wife would kill me if I let anything happen to our little girl. Thank you. I'd have preferred to have sent Stan, but Stan is busy. Okay, we've got our forces prepared. We've got four weeks left. I was kind of hoping I'd have the hunter by now, but I don't. I don't know how you trigger the hunter to show up. I would assume it's just time, but... Sidani? I'm fine, Father. Sonny, I better check on her later. You're going to go check on her now. Everyone, wait a second.
Your Grace? I hope you can keep him under control. Um, I can, Your Grace. Why would you say I can't? I've seen you chasing Hisser all across the castle. Oh yes, this is part of his training. I'm just making sure no one can catch him when he's on a mission. He's very fast, Your Grace, really. He's a perfect agent. Alright, Pumpkin, please stay safe. And if you need help with him, don't be afraid to ask. Won't you take him away? Of course not. I'll help if I can. Fine, Father. I don't need help. Good fox. Do not interrupt their training. Never mind. Can I return to the throne room? Yes, I can. We get rid of the outlaws taking over the village, Your Grace. They will not cause any more problems. They should also give a warning to any other bandits who rebel against their king. The people are very thankful for your help. At your service, Your Grace. That's all. Yeah, that's what I figured would happen. I can invite Lena for some reason. I don't know why. Same with Etten. Your Grace, all of my fields are flooded. The gods have punished us. Nothing will grow anymore. No potatoes, no beetroots, no parsley. We've been struggling with this for months now. We're praying to the gods for better weather every day. We're sick of eating conserves, Your Grace. Children are starting to go hungry. I was wondering if there's anything your wish could do to help the growth. She certainly cannot change the weather for you. We'd have sunshine, sunshine all year round if we could do that. Just be patient and try digging a ditch around your fields so the water could drain. Of course, Your Grace. I don't know what I was thinking. Thank you for your advice. I guess our jobs will only consist of digging from now on. Sorry. Your Grace! Rats! They're everywhere. They took over my barn. There's hundreds of them. I can't milk my cows or feed my horses, Your Grace. I had to walk here. How can I go to the market if I have nothing to sell? You can have Stan. My general will be able to get to them, I think. Next time, rem remember to leave traps in corners, even if you don't see any rats yet. They breed very fast. Oh, good idea, Your Grace. I knew you would be able to share your wisdom with me. Thank you for your help. Still invite Lord, yeah, but I don't need to. Three weeks until the army comes to destroy us all. And if the thing is right before the trial, I don't have the time if the hunter doesn't show up soon. There's the hunter, showing up soon. Your grace, you're almost ready for the battle. This is our last chance to form any alliances and ready our agents. Thank you for the reminder, Audrey. When we're ready, we'll march to the foothills of the mountains. Rodovia will not expect us to meet from them there. They will certainly not be ready for the attack. We might have a chance to win this. Elena first. Your Grace, what you asked me was a very difficult task. I have, however, managed to help the villagers support the walls of their homes. Oh, I just realized what the hunter's holding, too. Oh, no. It's a bad idea. Thank you for your help. You have prevented a lot of potential damages. I'm just gonna... Your Grace, I bring... Yes, sir. What have you seen? Uh, what happened to this, sir? Your Grace, these are dangerous pests. They steal eggs, chickens, and other goods, and can spread diseases, fleas in particular. I came here to offer my services as a hunter, Your Grace. I saw this. Fox hiding in the castle, so I hunted it down. I thought I would do you all a favor. That was my daughter's pet. Mister here was on a very important mission. Yes, sister was sharpening his senses. The murderer here should rot in the dungeons for killing one of my special agents. I'm sorry. Please don't punish me, Your Grace. If only I, I if I only knew, I wouldn't have came here looking for gold. But since I have been nothing but trouble so far, please let me be at your service. Let me serve you and your people. I can deal with monsters, wild 
animals track them down and bring you their bodies. Let me redeem myself, please, your grace. Maybe I'll be of help during the Battle of Hordovia, too. Bodies you can keep. I don't want to see any of that, but we could use your help for sure. Thank you, your grace. I'll do my best to redeem myself. Um, I'll be in dungeons if you need me. Make your dungeon guard an old friend of mine. Another agent is at our disposal, your grace. You will see this agent in the weekly summary screen. But, but what about the hisser, father? How do I take Vorsulia and Dusty back now? I'm sorry, Stani. At least the hunter here will act on Hisser's behalf. Fine. I will bury him with the others. I will check on the hunter when I get a minute. You might know something about this tooth. Well, there's Torlando. Last time we didn't end on a positive note. I know you, Grace. But let's not put our differences between us. It's all in the past. I have a new idea for how I can finish my latest work. I need some time with your witch. She would make a great addition to the series. Can I count on your support? Come back in some time. We'll see what happens. You're here to try to sell me your men. That ain't happening. I run a little business, your grace. I exchange your supplies for gold. Let's say 25 supplies for 18 gold. So shake on it. Uh, no. Thanks, but nope. Well, there's something going on in the gardens. It's their hunter. Your grace. This was in our wine cellar. What can you tell me about it? Hmm. Looks like it came from a big animal. Enormous, in fact. Maybe a griffin or a dragon. I've never seen such a thing, your grace. Can you find out where this thing could have come from? I can try. I have a book on animal trophies somewhere. It will take a while, though. Let's see what we can find out about this, then. Perfect. I'll take a look. Come and see me in the throne room when you find anything. Oh, I'll take him a week. Okay. And then we'll have everything, I think. Your Grace? Yes, Father. Shh. Dear Hisser, you are my bestest and swiftest agent, but most of all you are my best friend. You're leaving a deep hole in my heart. I will miss you forever. I hope you rest in peace. I hope you rest in peace, Hisser. Thank you, Father. It's alright, Stani. Are you feeling any better? Yes, Father. I'll just stay here for a while. Anything to say, Asalia? Nothing to say, Asalia? Well, let's clear out this last thing. I want to send for. I don't need to leave. I can just end the week. I can still invite a lord. Prepare the hunter. Now I'll prepare everyone. At least just for this week. Because we're leading up to the battle. Right, sorry, I was writing myself a note. Father, I don't have time to explain everything. I know you're not responsible for Talos' death, and I think Ivo knows who poisoned his father. The atmosphere here is very tense. Ivo and his advisors talked behind my back. They wouldn't let me stay with them, and always send me back to my chambers. I've heard Ivo say he has some kind of plan. I can't wait to sit... Can't wait to see you? She didn't finish writing. Could it, could it be she was in a hurry? It's good she's coming with Ivo soon. We'll find everything out then. We're ready for the royal trial, Your Grace. Yes, I'd like to. The trial starts next week. This is our last chance to gather evidence, Your Grace. We don't need to pay agents for that week. We won't need them. Of course, Audrey. Thank you. Grace, I have returned from the barn full of rats. He wasn't lying. There were a lot of them. I got my boys to catch them all. Thank you. Your Grace, when I arrived to, Orbo to Oborka in a very strange aura, it was cold and full of red fog. Dealt with the man on the red horse, but he seemed like he was under a spell. The village calmed down after that. Thank you for your help. 
And Grace, they bring you more information about the tooth. It's a very rare dragon tooth. It appears to come from an Ala demon. A female dragon who lives in the ancient forest of Kalidor. Kalidor? What would such thing be doing in my castle? Whoever lost it must have been an adventurous person. Audrey's right. I don't think you could get such an exotic tooth here in Davern. Your Grace, I'm sorry to bother you, but we are in a very bad situation. We don't know why this is happening. Someone must have done something terrible for the gods to punish us so badly. Our sacred oak is dying prematurely. All leaves are falling and they shouldn't be, Your Grace. We've given all the sacrifices we could. We've all gathered and prayed. Nothing's helping. We think Volus has escaped the underground. He's searching for the sinner. He must be hiding in someone's house. This is why we've been having so many thunderstorms, Your Grace. The god of thunder is trying to find Volus. Thunder won't stop until he returns underground. Your Grace, please send the hunter to find him, or give us supplies for tonight's ceremony. Perhaps we can calm the gods down. Not sure he can help, but he will try. Give him any information you have. May the gods bless you, Your Grace. Thank you. Your Grace, my village was attacked by vicious animals. Pack of wolves uh, attacked our shed. They took some of our chickens, leaving us with less to eat, and they all have also war also wounded the shed keeper, tried to scare them away. I think they are hungry at this time of year. We are afraid they will be back. Look for the wolves yourselves. You were all men, so you should know how to hunt animals. Your grace, this is different. I'll tell the boys to prepare. We leave at dawn. I mean, wolves are monstrous. Let's hope they won't eat us all. Sorry. I bow before you, your grace. My name is Boguslav. I want to bother you, but I have a man that twists my brains. My lady, she's so upset with me, and she's got good reasons to tell you. I ain't no man to think straight. I want to do good, and I sold our barn to buy her a servant. You know, to help her in the house and with the kids. She always complains how much work she has. She up and threw me out because her barn will make no more money for us. She has a point there. Darn. I did not think of this before. I tried everything, Your Grace, but she will not have me back. I found a new job in the potato fields. I shaved even. My heart is broken. I cannot sleep at night. Please help your grace. Uh, which could probably easily charm your lady. She'd love you forever. Is this possible? I will do anything to have her back, even if it means magic. Hope she stays the same after this, though. Probably won't. In fact, this seems like a horrible idea. Eric, I have important news. I wasn't sure, and I didn't want to jinx anything. I think it must be around 14 weeks, but now I'm certain. We're pregnant. That's wonderful. Hopefully it would be a boy this time. Yes, my darling. I have a good feeling about this. Have you told the girls yet? No, I haven't, darling. Can I tell them? Of course you can. Well. Probably. It's probably a good place to send someone. Oh, wait. I had to send for two weeks? Oh, this was a terrible idea. I failed my own plans. Yes, father. I br your mother is pregnant. No wonder, after all the giggles you've been having in the bedroom lately. Asalia, please. I'm sorry. Haven't you got enough? You three, yes. We're hoping for a boy this time. We need a successor to the throne. Ah, I hope it's a boy then. I wouldn't want yet another sister. Maybe a boy wouldn't get so turn up about silly jokes. Oh, Asalia. Oh, Asalia. I think I'm gonna go because we just got the last bit of info. Darling, this is such good news, Aurelia. I know, honey. I'm so happy. How are you feeling? Well, I have been vomiting all morning, but that's fine. I suppose I can live with it. Do you remember when I was pregnant with Ursulia? Of course, those were different times. I wish things were as simple as back then. Me too. No wars, no lords, no silly peasants. Listen, if you need anything at all, you come and get me, alright? Of course. I think I'll stay here and have someone start the fire for the evening. It's quite chilly in here. Of course, my darling. I'll see you later.
I was hoping she would talk to me because I think I have to decide who did this. Talk to Sidani first. Your Grace? Are you excited? Yes! Is she bringing Dusty? How long is she staying for? I never know if I should say the question or the, I mean, the, the little prompt because sometimes they'll say it, sometimes they won't. I'll tell her about how Hister tried to save her. I'm sorry. She's not bringing Dusty, sweetheart. I know how much you miss him, but he wouldn't want to travel such a long distance. I'll take you to see him right after all of this is over. How does that sound? That's fine, I suppose. I need to find a new agent, something different, but nothing else comes to the gardens. You'll find something eventually. How about another snail? They can't do much. You're going to be a big sister. What? But I already have a big sister. And now you're going to have a little sister or brother. Wow, really? When? I want a little brother. What's his name going to be? We don't know yet. We don't know if it's going to be a boy or a girl. But he or she is going to join our family in around 20 weeks. Is this a long time? Yes, it's still a while away. This is so exciting. Maybe you can help me convince Lily to come back home. I just said I can review the evidence here. Let's take a look. Mm. We got all the evidence, so... Now, do I leave it on a cliffhanger? Still not by the Lord. Still not going blue. We're burning through food. I need the food, sorry. Right. We're gonna save and quit. Leave it at a cliffhanger. Indeed. That's going to be the end of this particular stream. I'm going to leave it and see what happens next time. Well, I'm hoping my model has been blinking off and on and off and on and off and on like it was when I was setting things up. Because that would be wonderful if it stopped doing that. But who knows? I don't really... You know, I don't really check OBS because I try to keep everything controlled. Um, but for now, that is the end of the stream. We'll be back tomorrow at the regular time, and we'll be playing the captain. Or could do more, yes, your grace, because I'm going to be streaming five days in a row. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I might want to, yeah, might want to get through the trial and the big battle coming up. And yeah, either way. That is the end of the stream for now, and uh, I look forward to doing it again tomorrow. So for now, farewell, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.